Dave, why don't you tell everybody about the time you called 911 when your truck broke down? My number 459 injector line went out and we sat there on the side of the road for hours before we decided we were going to freeze to death. So I called 911 to send a cop to come pick me up and take me to a restaurant until my extra fuel line could get there to save us. Don't make fun of me, Josh. <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome back to the channel tonight. We're finally working on the 07. We are going to take off oh, something that hits kind of soft as something that hits like a twisted T. We're going to put a big S400 T6 on here. Let's get this torn apart. We tried to do a full exhaust, but uh, that salt really got to that downpipe there. Uh, we had to cut it off. So we'll leave the full exhaust on for right now. I'll just kind of strap it up out of the way. You guys saw us fighting here. Basically, we had a couple studs get stuck in the manifold. So all I gotta do is grind these uh, bolts down for the T4 to T6 adapter. And for the time being, we'll just run a hood stack. It's a good thing I already have one made, so I'm gonna go grab it from storage and we'll get this t6 charger thrown on here get the exhaust kind of dealt with and we'll get a full exhaust built for it i just got to order some parts i'll try to save that one if i can our adapter put on this is a keating machine t4 to t6 um i don't know what happened but we had to make a new bolt so now let's go ahead get a couple studs in here and see how this four s400 is going to fit all right, and here we have our T6 housing. This is a 115, um, and we have our hood stack here. It is a little tight on the AC, but a little pry bar action, you can make it happen. Now we're gonna drop the center cartridge in so we can get our oil feed, oil drain 
uh, off here and get it put onto this 96 turbine T6. And then from there, hook up oil feed, oil drain lines, and then look at what we were gonna have to do to get this into the intercooler. Hopefully this pipe will work. We might have to shorten it just a little bit, probably towards the front there, but let's get it done and see what, see what we gotta do. Okay, so we got our center cartridge in here. Don't mind that. Uh, got the turbo pre-lubed, oil feed, oil drain work from our old setup. So now it's just time for the compressor cover, air filter, intercooler pipe, and it's looking pretty snazzy. It's probably gonna be really loud because it's a five blade, but I've always wanted to try one and what a better vehicle than this to put it through the ringer. So without further ado, let's get it done. All right, we got our intercooler pipe in, our two nitrous jets. Everything's tight, double checked everything. All we got now is to put our air filter back on here, which I'm pretty sure this will still work. At least that's the hope here. Oh, you know what? I think it's because this guy's in here too far. Well, hold on, let me set down the camera and figure this out and then I'll pick you guys back up. All right, here we go. Knocked out an oil change real quick. And this adapter is just kind of temporary. Adjusted the hood stack. Double checked all of our work. Obnoxious, but let's be real. I think we live in a place where most people aren't gonna care that much.
actually straightens out or not. guys enjoyed those little clips of the rip there this thing definitely pretty saucy uh, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more tuning uh, just to get her dialed up but she spools up pretty easy uh, fuel only and we'll get some nitrous added to it and kind of see what this thing's made of um, it's nice to be working on my own stuff finally again hopefully you guys like this video drop a comment down below subscribe if you are not already uh, the t-shirts are close. We got our order placed. I'm just waiting for them to come. So that is that is on the on the way here. Uh, but anyway, guys, I will catch you on the next one.